Hey everyone, it's time for me to give my preseason week 4 review of the NFL. Um, I'm not going to go game by game this week just because it's week 4 of the preseason. It's not very important. Many starters aren't playing. It's just basically a week for the guys that are trying to make the roster uh, to play and show their, at last what they can do. So it's kind of their last impression. But I'm just going to go shortly over a few points that I saw from week four here preseason. Uh, the first thing I'm going to start off with is the Terrell Pryor uh, quarterback situation in Oakland. Uh, last night, he did not play very well, especially throwing the ball. Uh, last week, he, when he played Chicago, he did play very well throwing the ball and running. Uh, this week, however, he was 3 for 8. He didn't look very good. The Raiders' offensive line is really bad, so he didn't have a lot of time. Um, he did run the ball well, however. He did have 48 yards running. But other than that, he really didn't do much. Now the Raiders have a decision to make. Is Terrell Pryor the guy? I still think, yes, you go with him. I think you can't put too much stock in the start. Uh, I feel that if they put Matt Flynn down as the quarterback, uh, he'll be injured by week four anyways because the Raiders' offensive line is that bad. He's going to get killed back there. Um, Terrell Pryor, he can move around. Uh, it's not going to be pretty um, in Oakland. It doesn't, honestly, though, it really doesn't matter who's going to start the team. The roster talent is not very good. Uh, it was prevalent this year in the preseason that they really can't match up with many teams at all. Uh, they're definitely playing for that number one pick, but I do still think that even though Pryor didn't play well last night, he should be the starter in Oakland. Uh, next, I'm going to talk about Tim Tebow. Uh, he is really trying to make that roster in New England as the third quarterback. He did play well last night. He did throw a pair of touchdown passes, his best preseason game this year to date. Does he make the team in New England? I don't know. I mean, possibly as he could be like a tight end. They could switch him. Uh, Belichick obviously wouldn't show that in the preseason anyways. Uh, does he make the team? Oh, man, I, I don't know. I wish I did. Um, but my gut feeling is telling me that that he will make the team. I actually, you know, when I think about it, he's going to make the team uh, just because he can play that tight end, play a little running back. Patriots, of course, are thin at tight end since Gronkowski's injury and since, you know, the whole Aaron Hernandez situation. So, Tim Tebow, I, I guess, if I'm leaning towards he's going to make that team in New England. So, I don't know if he's going to play it all this year, but heck, for him to make the team, that's a, that's a good one for him. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about is Matt Liner uh, for Buffalo. Buffalo's quarterback situation is a mess. EJ Manuel might be out for a while. Uh, they're going to start Tool week one. He did not play last night. Uh, but they brought in La Matt Liner to back up. Uh, he was not very good last night. He threw a pair of interceptions. But then again, it's his first week in Buffalo. He's got to get used to the flow of how everything goes. But overall, for Matt Liner, that doesn't look good. Buffalo is a mess, especially quarterback. The one position you cannot afford to be bad at is quarterback. Uh, it could be a long year for Buffalo. Uh, Man, good luck to them. You know, they, them and the Jets are going to be fighting for last in the NFC East. The last thing I'm going to talk about today is Eli Manning. Uh, usually starters don't play in the preseason, especially people like Eli Manning. You expect him to be ready by week four. Uh, he's not, obviously he wasn't though. Tom Coughlin decided to play him. Uh, but he did play well. He did throw, uh, he did go, I believe, six for nine. Uh, he played, uh, he looked the best he has all preseason, I feel like Tom Coughlin decided, hey, I need to get Eli Manning. He's been inaccurate so far this preseason. Let's get him one more, you know, one more time to show what he can do to get ready for week one. Uh, he played well. I I wouldn't be worried about Eli Manning, though, even though he's inaccurate all preseason. I still, you know, wouldn't have any concerns about him. He's a professional. He's been doing it for a long time. He has a pair of Super Bowl rings. No worries there. One big thing that came out of there, just like what happened with the Jets. Uh, Andre Brown, running back for the Giants, broke his leg last night. And he was expected to get a lot of time there in the backfield for the Giants. Uh, this is a devastating injury for him. He's going to be out 
if you're breaking your leg, probably, I mean, the season or maybe, you know, end by the end of the year, he could possibly come back, but depends on how the leg heals and such. I, I believe he elected not to go with sur surgery, but, you know, playing, you know, a running back in the final preseason game, getting him injured is like the Rex Ryan move. Um, you know, playing Sanchez in the fourth quarter uh, last week in preseason when he injured his throwing shoulder. I still think the Giants will be fine, but they did lose a weapon there on the ground game. Remember, they don't have a lot of Bradshaw anymore. So they're going to – that could be a big loss for the Giants for sure. Um, I would like to thank you guys for watching my preseason week four review, and I hope you guys check out next week. I'm going to give you guys uh, the predictions for the regular season in the NFL. Uh, thank you, and have a good day. Anything goes, anything goes. You never know what we're going to show on Anything Goes.